If you have a lot of long form recordings like webinars or virtual events, and you want to use a AI video editor to basically turn them into short form clips, I'm going to show you how you can use Chopcast to do that in this tutorial. So as soon as you log in, just go ahead and upload your videos. You can go ahead and take them from YouTube, from your computer or from Google Drive. And this part is optional, but you can actually leave a simple prompt for Chopcast here to find parts based on that, along with specifying the platforms that you're focusing on and their clip duration and so on. Once it's begun uploading, just give it a couple of minutes and you'll find that Chopcast will watch the video and identify the key moments for you, along with the virality or engagement score. From there, you can export the clip as is, or if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and edit the clip further. So let's take a look at that. So inside the clip editor, there's a couple of things you can do. Obviously, you can preview the clip you can also modify the words per line, say if you wanted to make it a bit more snappy, like so. And if there's any changes you wanted to make to the subtitles, you can just click on the specific words and edit them or modify them. Also, if you wanted to just trim entire parts of the video as if it's never been said, simply just highlight it and click on trim video. In order to edit the subtitles, you can just click on any of the words and make modifications to them right away and just click on submit changes. And if there's anything you wanted to trim entirely from the video as if it's never been said, you can actually just highlight it and click on trim video. And that will actually remove it from the, the video itself. From there, you can also modify the start and end time of the clip like so. And you can also search for specific keywords that were mentioned if you're looking to create clips based on these right away. As you can see, it'll show you where in the timeline certain topics were mentioned and you can just click into that and create clips based on it. Once you're happy with the clip. You can also add like text layers, image layers. You can also enhance audio, which will basically remove any speech imperfections. So things like ums, ahs, awkward silences. You can just click on enhance and it will basically remove that for you automatically. And you can also take the same exact clip and basically resize it, say to turn it into a vertical clip, square or even four by five. For vertical and square specifically, you can fit and crop. So I'll show you the difference between those two. So fit pretty much takes the video and centers it in the middle like so. You can have the captions running at the bottom and maybe like a text there at the start. You can also like modify the colors and stuff like that. But the other option you have is to set it to crop and that will basically give you kind of like a full screen clip. And of course you can actually uh, click to drag the frame in case you wanted to focus the video on any other element. So that's basically it. Once you are completely done with the clip, you can pretty much just export and get that MP4 with the captions or without. And then you can just use it on YouTube. You can use it on TikTok. You can use it wherever you post your social content. So hopefully that's helpful. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you soon.